I'm actually so excited to make this video. I think it's the fact that nothing can really go wrong. I mean, I'm just using cardboard, tape, and scissors. It's basically like a big arts and crafts project. And after today, I'll be able to see what I've been envisioning in my head actually in person and I'll be able to tell if I like it or if I got to make any changes. And I think it's just going to look cool anyways. Now, before we get out there, you guys know the deal. We always update the board behind us. And this week, again, we've killed it. We're reaching our goal, guys. Guys, we're almost a quarter of the way there to a big goal. Now, what do we have on the list here? As you know, you're here because we're working on the trunk today. After that, I'm waiting for a phone call, then we'll be picking up all the engine parts and the actual block. And then here, go to description in this video and buy coldest water bottle. I wonder what that's about. Oh, sorry, I totally forgot. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. The Coldest Water, it's the first company to reach out to me and offer me a sponsorship deal. Now what they've done for me and you, they've given me a promo code that'll give you a discount once you use the link in the top of the description. Now that's going to take you to a link where you're going to be able to see a wide variety of different products. They don't only just sell water bottles, they have mugs, tumblers, coolers, ice packs, coffee, pillows, even beds for your pets. Now, if you make sure to use the link in the top of the description, it'll help me out and make sure you use the promo code lifted wrangler to get a discount. Enough of that. Let's get to work. Now, here's all the material that I'm going to be using for today's project. This is so fun. I don't know why I don't do arts and crafts more often. I haven't even started yet and I'm excited. Now we're working at the back of the car today and there's not really much room back there. I wish I was able to utilize all this space here and uh, move the car forward. Luckily, we got this car on four wheels now and I can actually move it. All right, now the goal today is to get an idea of what we're gonna be doing for the trunk. Now, first thing, I've marked this a long time ago and I haven't cut that, so I'm gonna start by cutting that out. And then I'm gonna get a big piece of cardboard that we're gonna use as a template and we're gonna lay it down here for the trunk. And then we're gonna have to add some structural stuff going across here. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. That's kind of the reason for the cardboard. But where this rear axle is was a very crucial part of the frame and I cut it all out to make room for this. So we're probably gonna be putting some cross bracing across here, but I think we're gonna be playing by ear. So let's get to work and see how it starts to look. What I'm doing right now is I want to find a piece that I can cut and match this contour here. And I've seen a trick online before. I'm going to give it a shot right now. All right, so I've seen this trick online before to try to match the contour of something. And basically you take these sticks and you just jam them in the ends of the cardboard. And I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm just going to speed this process up, but you'll see what I'm going to do with it. All right, so I got all those in and it may look ridiculous, but watch what I do with it. So all we got to do now is take this tool and kind of press it down where it needs to go. And I kind of got to give it a little bit of persuasion and hit it from the back a little bit like that until I see that it's pretty much taken the shape. I just got to adjust a few here. But you look at that, and that's the exact shape of the car. And now I can take that, transfer it over to the piece. I'm just gonna mark the halfway point here. Right here, because the tool is only big enough to do just half of the trunk. So I'm gonna take this over now, and we'll see what it looks like on the other piece. So now all we gotta do is take this piece here and transfer it over. And if we look, we do something like this here, we'll get pretty close. It won't be perfect, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be at least close enough. All 
Okay, I got a rough mark here. Now let's take this tool over, do the other half. All right, now I've cut it out. Let's see how it fits. Hopefully we're close. Wow, I think we're really close, but I gotta cut off some more from these corners here. Wow, okay. So you can see I matched almost exactly the contour of the trunk. Uh, the nice thing is that it's, because it's cardboard, I can just try this over and over again, but this is a very good start. Uh, I'm gonna try to perfect these corners here a little bit more, and I also wanna measure far enough back from that diff so that if that diff needs to go up and down, it's not gonna be smacking into this trunk. So I think the next piece that we're gonna be doing is a cross brace from the strut tower to the strut tower because obviously I can't put anything across where the diff is or where the rear axle is. So I'm gonna go up across here and I'm gonna kinda of start making like a cage. I ended up getting sidetracked because I just kept looking at this and I didn't like the gap. So there's another trick that I'm gonna show you and I've never tried it before, uh, but again, I've seen it online other places. And what you do is you just take a washer and you put it wherever you're gonna start and then you run it kind of like this. Well, it's not perfect, again, but if I keep trying this, I'm gonna be left with nothing left because I'm just gonna keep getting shorter and shorter. So it is what it is, we'll perfect it later, but honestly, it's not so bad. I think the next thing that I'm gonna do is work on the piece going up to this. It's kind of gonna help enclose the trunk. So it's basically gonna be a piece that goes from this edge here up to this cross brace that I put up. All right guys, so something I didn't take into consideration, uh, I was thinking about this last night actually, but I thought that for sure I would have plenty of space in here for the fuel cell, uh, but even a 10 gallon fuel cell, uh, which is a little smaller than what I wanna go with, will barely fit in here. So I marked where one of the holes will be and I need to measure out further out. So I actually need to extend this piece first, uh, but basically I gotta redo this a little bit just so I can make sure that I can fit the fuel cell. I had to extend this because I still had a lot of room to go here without hitting the diff, but the center to center marks for the mounting points on that fuel cell were 18 inches. So now we're good.
So I got most of the trunk done now, but as you can see, we're still opened up to the inside of the car here. So what I'm gonna wanna do is make a piece to go across here to kind of seal it up so that the trunk is isolated. Okay, so I got the overall idea pretty much done for the trunk. There's a couple small pieces here and here that I might want to do later, but that's okay right now. And once we get the metal for all this, we're going to go ahead and install all this stuff here. And then we're going to get the fuel cell in, the battery relocation kit here. And once all that stuff's in, then I'm going to make a little bit of a cage to add more strength in the bag because the more the merrier. I, like I said before, I ripped out a very integral part of the frame. So I'm just gonna keep adding more supports. Uh, and even underneath the car, I have lots of plans for underneath the car, uh, if you guys are wondering. For now, I know roughly what kind of metal I need, the size, the shape, everything like that. So I'm gonna be ordering it. And when it arrives, we will be taking care of the trunk. I also did just order the fuel cell, uh, the clutch pedal, uh, gasket kit for the engine, new pistons, new camshaft, bunch of stuff for the engine. Um, along with all the other stuff that I already ordered. So guys, please consider checking out my website because you can directly support me through my website or like that little comical uh, sponsorship earlier with the coldest water. Um, they help me out as well if you buy one of their products using the link in the description below. Uh, anything helps guys, really do appreciate it. Uh, and make sure you guys are subbed because we'll be posting every single Friday like I have been. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.